Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is Mental Math Strategies for Addition. So this will help us add some numbers a little bit easier here. So this is lesson 1-4 in our textbook, and, and our common course strand is given there. And our essential question is, what kind of mental math strategies can we use to find sums? Uh, sums means addition problems, okay? So if you see the word sum. So we're going to use things uh, uh, like compatible numbers and friendly numbers here. So we'll show you some examples here. So this table shows uh, the favorite colors of the third grade students at Dingle Elementary School. How many students like blue or green the most? Okay, so we're going to be adding these two numbers, 57 and 15, okay, to see how many students like blue or green the most. So one way is to count by tens and then ones to find 57 plus 15. So we'll start on this number line here and count to the nearest 10. Notice we started with the bigger number here. These two numbers are called the add-ins. They're the numbers that we add together. So we always use the bigger add-in. So we'll start uh, on the, on, with the 57 down here and let's count on to the nearest 10 and then we'll count by 10s and 1s after that. Okay, so to the nearest 10 is going to jump us up to 60 right there. So when we go up to 60, that's going to be plus 3 right there. Okay, then we'll count by 10s. Let's move this up here so have some more room right here. Okay, so now let's count by 10. So we're going to go ahead and add 10 to that. So 60 plus this 10 is going to take us to 70 right there. Okay, and have we added 15 all the way? Well, Let's see. Um, uh, if you think of 3 plus what number gives us 15? Well, 3 plus 12 equals 15. So we've added um, uh, 3 plus 10 right here. So we're going to need an extra 2 more to give us this 3 plus 12 right here. So we'll go ahead and add 2 more to that, and that's going to jump us up to 72 right there, okay? So what we did is we started at 57, we went up to the first, um, uh, to the nearest tens number, which jumps us up to 60, and then we just started counting by tens. So then that'll take us up to 70. And then how much more did we need to get when we added 15 to that? Well, 3 plus 12. So when we did 3 plus 10, we needed two more to get 3 plus 12 right there. So anyways, 57 plus 15 equals 72, okay? Here's another way. Let's count by tens first and then count by one. So here we are at 57, so we're just going to jump by 10. So here we are. So plus 10, okay? Now we need to go up plus 15 right there. So 10 plus 5 equals 15, so we need to go 5 more. So if we go up 5 from 67, 67 plus 5, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. So when we add that, it takes us to 72 still, you guys. So 57 plus 15 is still 72. All right, so uh, we always start, uh, we count from the, the greater of the add-in. So remember, this is an add-in and this is an add-in. So we always start with the bigger of the add-in, and then we start counting by by tens and ones with the smaller of the numbers right there, the smaller of the add-ins. All right, let's try this, you guys. Uh, 43 plus 28, and we'll draw jumps and label the number line to show our thinking right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark down. We're going to do the bigger of the add-ins, which is this 43. So we'll start right there. 43. Okay, and then what we'll start doing is we'll just start uh, jumping up to the next 10 spot. So 43 plus, looks like we're going to have to add 7 to get to 50 right there. Okay, so it's going to be plus 7, and then we'll just start jumping by 10s. Okay, so now let's start counting by 10s until we get up to um, uh, the 28 right here, okay? So let's think about this, you guys. 7 plus what number equals 28? Because we went up to get up to the first 10 right there, and it took us 7. So 7 plus what number equals this 28 right here? 7 plus 21. That tells us we can do a couple of jumps of 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump by 10 again. So that's going to take us up to 60. Okay, let's jump by 10 again. That's going to take us up to 70 right there. Okay, so here's 10, here's 20. We need 21. So we're going to jump plus one more. So 70 plus one more is going to take us to that 71 right there. Okay, so 43 plus 28 equals 71. Okay, all right, so explain another way we could draw the jumps. All right, well, we could do, uh, we can jump by 10s. We can go, so here's 10, here's 20. We need to go up to 28 right here. So we always start with a bigger add end at 43. So plus 10 will get us to 53. Plus 10 more will get us to 63, so we need to do 8 more, so we add 8 to 63, and that's going to get us up to up to 71 right there, okay? And so we can just count, you guys, so 63 plus 8, so here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, and that's going to take us up to 71 right there, okay? And you can just mark those on a number line right there and then count what, uh, what it goes up to. All right, so here's other ways we can use compatible numbers. Compatible numbers are numbers that are easy to compute mentally and they're close to the real numbers, okay? So we talked about compatible numbers in the last lesson, you guys. So, so remember, compatible numbers are just easy to compute and mentally and are close to the real number. So a nice compatible number close to 178 is 175. And, and uh, so we'll, we'll go ahead and break these apart, these add-ins, and make them easier to work with, okay? So 175 is close to 178, and that's a nice compatible number to, to work with when we're adding. And then 225 is close to 227. So think of this, you guys. 178 is 175 plus 3. And 227 is 225 plus 2. Okay, so what we can do is go ahead and add those up. So let's go ahead and add 175 plus uh, uh, 225, and then we'll add 3 plus 2. Well, this is easy. That's 5 over here. 5 and 5 is 10, so we'll carry a 1 right here. So 1 plus 7 is, is 8, plus 2 more is another 10, so another 0 goes right here. So carry a 1, and we're going to get 400 right there. So it's going to give us 400 plus 5 right there. So if we go ahead and add those sums up right there, 400 plus 5 is 405. So remember, 175 plus 3 is 178, and uh, 225 plus 2 is 227. So it's going to give us this same sum right here of 405 right there. So 178 plus 225 is 405. All right, so let's use friendly numbers uh, and adjust to find uh, 38 plus 56, okay? Well, friendly numbers are numbers that have zeros uh, in the ones position right here. So what we're going to do is change this 38. We'll make it a friendly number. So what we'll do is we'll make it go up to 40. Add 38 to make a number with a zero. So 38 plus 2 will give us 40 right there, and that's a nice friendly number. Well, since... Uh, we added 2 to, to uh, the 38, then if we're going to keep this the same, we've got to take off 2 from this one right here. So if we added the 2 uh, to 38 to give us 40, just think we took out 2 out of this one to make this one 40, so that's going to take us to uh, take off 2, and that's going to take us to 54. Okay, can you see that? If we take 2 out of this one and add it to that, that's going to give us a friendly number of 40. Okay, so then this becomes 54 now. So now we just add these two numbers, 54 plus 40. 54 plus 40 is going to give us 94. Okay, well, so 38 plus 56 is going to be equal to 94. So we used friendly numbers right there, and we adjusted. So what we did was we needed to make this 40, so we took it out of this one right here to make it 40. All right, so let's describe another way to use friendly numbers to find the sum of... 38 and 56. Okay, so um, what we could do is we can make 56 a friendly number by by adding 4 to 56. Well, if we add 4 to 56 to make it a friendly number of 60, then we got to take the 4 out of this one. So if we took the 4 out of that one, 38 minus 4 is, I'm sorry, yeah, 38 minus 4 is 34. So if we take 4 out of that one, to add it to this one, this one becomes 60, so then we're left with 60 plus 34, which is 94, okay? So if these videos are helping, would you guys click like for me? That would help me. Thank you, and take care.